Praise the Lord, our daily Bible study friends. Did you know that in yourself it would be impossible for you to imagine the beauties and wonders that await you who have labored in him and looked for his coming and are ready when he arrives? Of course, I'm talking about heaven. Have you thought about heaven lately? I want to read to you 1 Corinthians 2, 9, and 10. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. I can't speak for anybody but myself. But as for me, I have been very, very homesick for heaven lately. In part, it might be because of the lateness of the hour. I see people rejecting God. I see people fighting him and all kind, all manner of evil, a government being absolutely corrupt to the core and an embarrassment to the rest of the world. But that's just part of what I'm feeling. When I get to feel this way, sometimes I recall a testimony that I heard from Sister Stella Riggs, my first pastor's wife, James Riggs. Here's how the story goes, and maybe this will encourage you as well. Sister Stella Riggs's mother always loved God, and in her devotion to God, she never cut her hair. At the end of her life, however, she received cancer. And because of the treatments, he lost all of her hair. Sister Riggs could never understand why God would allow this to happen to her mother. So she was very distraught about this after the death of her mother. And she didn't know how to really manage it. Maybe you've been in a situation like that where you just could not understand how God could have allowed such a thing to happen. Well, in this case... Sister Riggs decided to take it to God in prayer, and in prayer she fell into a trance. In the trance, she saw her mother coming down with very long, very, very lovely long hair. And of course, her mother comforted her. But that isn't the most amazing part of this testimony. The most amazing part of the testimony is a simple bench that Sister Stella attempted to describe. She tried to tell everybody how beautiful it was. I heard her try to attempt to describe the beauty of this piece of furnishing, and she just couldn't do it. It was beyond her human words to describe the beauty of this bench, something that is just a piece of furniture in heaven. And I got to thinking... If a piece of furniture in heaven is so beautiful that words cannot describe it, what must heaven be like? For eye hath not seen, neither hath the ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. To those that love God, hear the Lord Jesus Christ in John 14, 2. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know whether there'll be a darkness before the coming of the Lord. I don't know if there'll be some signs. I, I don't. I just simply don't know. I do know that the signs of His coming are all around us. But I want to take courage in the fact that He will never let anything. And of course, there's Hebrews thirteen and five. May your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. 
I am so grateful to Jesus Christ and to his salvation. I'm also grateful to you who would take the time to listen to these Bible studies every day. I hope you found them to be an encouragement to you. And may God keep and watch over you in Jesus' name. And until we meet face to face, whether here, there, or in the air, God bless you on the way.